<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Brews of the Brew Knights. My name is Ryan. My name is Jake. We are the Knights of the Brew Table. Who Today on Brews of the Brew Knights we'll be trying a collaboration between Boulevard and Cigar City Brewing. What does that mean for us, Ryan? It means we're brewed for a probably a pretty awesome collaboration between two awesome breweries. Cigar City Brewing being local to us, Tampa. And then Boulevard, I'm not sure where Boulevard's from. So, this isn't even a pale ale. They're, they're saying this is a malt beverage, or is, is it synonymous with pale It's a tropical pale ale. It says malt beverage. Yeah, 7.2% alcohol by volume. So yeah, this might be pretty, pretty heavy. interesting, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, tropical is not exactly what I think of when I think of a pale ale. But no, uh, certainly not. So, uh, if you want to go ahead and pop that off? Yeah, let's get Because, I mean, I, I don't know if... Uh, hold on. Yeah, not a screw top. This one ain't popping. Oh. No, but what's in store for us? Combining Boulevard's love of pale ales with Cigar City's expertise with fruit flavors, this joint venture is brewed with passion fruit and grapefruit and hopped with a blend of citra, mosaic, azaka, azaka. and lemon drop. Lemon drop. Le the lemon Ooh. drop. What is that? Is that pee after the night of Oh, yeah, that's like... <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit, man. Smells like it, too. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Smell. What do you smell that? <laughs> <laughs> so it smells like a malt liquor. Yeah, something. it does. Super, uh, super notes from pi uh, pineapple to like orange peel to like. No, but I definitely get like the passion fruit. Passion fruit, fruit pineapple. About. I mean, this is literally very tropical. Yeah, they did a good job on that smell, and it, it has picks up the color of a pale ale very well too. So very cloudy. It looks good. This looks, looks like really a regular pale ale. So you want to go and try this thing, Let's man? Let's give it a shot. I hope it's gonna be good. A bit much on the flavor. Not as much as the smell brings in, though. I mean, <laughs> I was expecting like. Like that kind grapefruit. Of explosion. That grapefruit just smacks you like right up front. I'm not a big fan of grapefruit. See, I do like I like grapefruit a lot. Just smacks your ass, dude. Just on the way in, just smack. You instantly ass. get um, grapefruit rind. I'd say it is very, very bitter. Very bitter up front, and it's not. It's not the choice of hops or anything. It is. It's not very grapefruit. hoppy at all. It's it yeah. definitely definitely more of like a grapefruit rind bitterness. How do you feel about it? What do you What are you gonna rate this one? I wish it was like orange or lemon or some other like citrus because I just don't like grapefruit. I'm giving this a two. It is interesting though. It is unique for a pale ale or malt like or whatever it is really. I don't know where to place this one. But yeah, definitely give it a shot. Definitely give it a try. But yeah. I'm giving it a two out of five. I like grapefruit in a beer. I mean, not my favorite selection of flavor, but uh, I like it, and I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a four. I mean, it's a good beer. It's respectable. I like it. If you like grapefruit, you'll enjoy the beer. But it is not nearly as hoppy as some pale ales I've had before. So that could be because that could be because it's someone along the lines of like a malt beverage. Thank you guys for joining us on this episode of Brews with Brew Nights. My name's Ryan. I've been Jake. We're the Knights of the Brew Table. Boom. Thank you and have a wonderful day.